got ourselves a Fantastic Four Herald of Doom review. This is covers issues the six through nine. Um, it's a small little arc, nothing too crazy, but it was still enjoyable. What we got here is Doctor Doom. He's you know back doing his thing, and he has summoned Galactus to Earth using his new Herald, or well, he gave this girl named Victorious. Uh, power the powers cosmic is that what it's called right and so now Galactus is drawn to to Earth and what Doctor Doom does is like build like put Galactus into Mount Doom and like form it around him and you know put all these tubes little plug type things to harness his energy to supply Latveria and run it and crap like that so he's got Galactus you know trapped and he's just using his powers but the Fantastic Four are not for that because there's always a chance that Galactus can get free and Doom's just evil so what's he gonna do with the power cosmic just you know too much and so the Fantastic Four go and they kick some ass as they always do um Johnny sort of hits it off flirts with that victorious girl a bit she's pretty powerful because she's got the power cosmic but it uh her powers sort of get tossed out the window eventually like you know the Fantastic Four are gonna kick butt but back over you know and Queens or wherever freaking back on Yancey Street there we go you got uh, the kids and Alicia and the others living life and the kids are grounded cuz they're doing experiments on their grandparents trucks and crap and uh, Franklin meets some girl, but I guess she's been in Marvel Comics before. I don't really know anything about her, but she like brings, can bring like little demon, little goblin type things, and so she brought those all throughout. Uh, you know, Yancey Street and crap. Franklin had to save the day, but he's also feeling really like sidelined and crappy because all those years up in space, they've been able to do whatever. He had powers. He was able. You know, his parents counted on him, but now he's being sidelined a lot, which kind of sucks for him. And Franklin, I, I really do enjoy his character. Um, and I, I hope they start, you know, doing something more with him and not sidelining him as much. But I guess you got to because he's so powerful, but he's also losing his power. So it's like, I don't know. Valeria, she's just living life. I don't really know what she's doing. She's grounded too, but I don't think she's doing anything too crazy. Um... But yeah, I, I mainly wanted to talk about the fact that Franklin's been sidelined, which I sort of want to see him do more. But I mean, I guess, you know, Fantastic Four thought the Fantastic Six. Um, and it was, I'm glad they didn't like drag this storyline out. It honestly could have been three issues, but it was four. It was just a very short, simple storyline. Not terrible, not amazing, but still pretty good. And it was cool seeing Galactus in the Earth, like how Doom had, was using him to, you know, power Latverian crap. Um, but to at the end of the the you know arc, we have Invisible Woman turning Doom's mask invisible, and you know he hates people seeing his face. And so she turns his mask invisible while you know the whole world's watching on a you know on TV. And um, he tries to cover it up with his hands, and she turns his hands invisible. And now his entire, you know, everyone's seeing everything about him. And uh, Victorious comes and swoops him away to save the day. Obviously, that's not the end of Doom. Probably not the end of this Victorious character. Uh, but, yeah, they set Galactus free, and he, he heads on back up to uh, space. So hopefully he don't do nothing too crazy on us. But yeah, that, that's it really. It was a nice little arc. Are you guys reading the new Fantastic Four, you know, reboot type continuation thing? You know, let me know all the fun stuff down below. Till next time, stay fantastic.